Hey guys, so I just wanted to share something cool that I thought uh, some, of, some of you animators would want to try. Um, you know, when you have a, a walk cycle, any kind of walk cycle, if you have a dog walk, walking around uh, and you've nailed it, let's say that you're happy with the walk, okay? So let's say um, you're happy with the shoulders and, and the hip position and, uh, you know, the shifting of the weight left and right all of that sort of stuff and you want to do more with your walk cycle you know you want to sort of fine tune it and and make it really nice for your demo reel so there's a couple of cool things you can do and i would suggest that you guys should try it and it's basically adding adding um, animation layers on top of your cycle okay so let's say we have a 29 frame cycle so this this walk cycle that i teach on my academy is 29 frames so the first and the last frame are the same okay so I've increased the time slider so let's say 150 frames and double click the timeline here and I've got some animation layers on here let me turn on first the head turn so if I turn that on it's basically cycling the curve and then it's just rotating the head in one direction holding it for a bit Going the other side, have a little look around, and adding something subtle to the walk cycle, but bringing the dog itself to life a little bit more, giving it some personality. Okay. The next one we have is head down. So if we look at some reference, okay, of uh, dogs just walking around, this is really cool. Courtney's canine crew, crew goes to you guys for this awesome reference. The dog's head is never really just focused forward, okay? It's always trying to do something or look up at the owner or, or just looking around of where it's going and, and seeing, you know, what it's doing. So, and you can see the different types of cycles that set in. I think there's a really cool bit here where you see, yeah, the, heads, the dog's head drops down. Looks back at the owner, pretty cool stuff. And then I found another one here, Jackie on the treadmill. Very nice, slow motion. And we can see uh, her head going up and down all the time and, you know, tongue out because she's hot or whatever it is. And yeah, but you can see that the dog's head is doing something different, but there is a cycle in the background. Okay, so with that in mind, we can add this to our animated uh, walk cycles. So let's say we have a head turn there and we have a head down. Let me show you what that looks like. The rig is quite tricky. Uh, this one that I've been using to teach the course, it has a lot of squashing and stretching, not very nice, but if you have another dog rig or quadruped rig, um, this applies to every rig, okay? So we have, let's turn that head turn off. Um, okay, so here we have the dog walking and then Head comes down, looks around a little bit, and then staggers up. When I say staggers up, if I just select something on that time slider, we can see on the graph editor, we have a weight of that layer. We have a weight in the graph editor, and I'm animating going into the layer and holding it, then staggering out of it. Okay, that's why when we get to here, the head stops a bit there and then goes up again. That's the staggering there. And of course, you know, when the head goes down, there's, there's a, uh, depending on the dog, I suppose, but the tail does change position. Maybe it's probably better on this one. Tail goes more out. If it's just walking, see how the tail sticks out there at the back? That's running, obviously. And then walking is just, the tail is, is um, you know, down in this position. Goes up later when it's running. Anyway, so but you change the behavior, you would lift up the tail as you drop the head. So you'd animate this tail also going into um, into position, right? So say the head is going down there, I would then key this layer at zero. So let's turn it off, zero, we'll key it here, and then we'll go to the head down, we'll pull in that layer up, hold it key it again and then key it back uh, yeah oops let me go back here and then key it back to zero here okay 
so that the, as the dog's head is going down, you're animating the tail going up. So you're doing the behavior just by animating two little sliders in Maya, which is pretty cool. So to give you an example of how that would work, I'm going to just do maybe one or two of the layers for you, and we can um, we can go from there. So let's do okay. Let's do the head down layer. Um, it's pretty cool. So if the head is going to go down, we're going to need to select all three of these controllers. Okay, all three of those. We're going to add them to an animation layer on the right here. And I'll just call it uh, underscore head down mode two. So I know that's the second one. And I will set a keyframe at one. And I'm just going to actually animate the pose of this. I don't need to animate the whole animation of what the, the body's doing. I'm actually going to animate the pose. So to create the pose, and then, yeah, that's what I'll do. So I'll animate the pose. And then we will, um, okay, so let's uh, rotate this chest and head down into the pose. So we will select these three controllers, add them to uh, animation layer, and we can rotate them down a little bit. Okay, make sure to set the keyframe afterwards. And the chest is going to have to rotate down when the dog is has its head down, okay? But also the translation, you can see on this rig, we will need to translate the head down. I'm gonna translate in world space. So I'll drag the head down and the neck looks a little weird. And this, wow, wow. Okay, let's put that up a little bit. And maybe work on this part. And then maybe counter animate the head forward a bit like this. until you get some sort of shape that you are happy with on the side of the head. So something like that. Um, yeah, again, we are limited with this, this shape and yeah, it's a little tricky, but there's the pose. So the head is down and looking at the ground a little bit, let's just maybe Lower this part. I don't like the shape it creates at the neck. So lower that. Maybe lift this one up a bit. Okay. So the dog's looking forward with its head uh, down on the ground. Okay. With that one keyed in, so you key in the pose, okay? And then what you need to do is you need to open up your graph editor. So let's open up the graph and we just dock it down here. And let's take a look at, select anything on that animation layer and you'll get, oh, we haven't keyed it yet. So what we'll do is we will um, set a keyframe on this layer. Okay, so we're gonna first of all key it off. Okay, so the dog's head is up for now. And then we'll press this K, so we're gonna key, key the um, animation layer. And you'll notice that when I key it, there's, a, there's another uh, value that comes in called width. And the weight is what you want to be animating, right? So we're going to walk for a little bit. Let's say we have one revolution, one cycle, and we will key it in here. Okay. And then we will turn on the layer. So we're going to turn on the head down layer. So the head goes into that position. There's the keyframe on the weight. And then we're going to hold that for a bit. Let's say here, we'll key it again. And then we'll key it back up. Let's say 112, we'll key it off again. Set a key. Okay, so if we play this back, it's going to just go into position, hold, and then come back up again. And that's what's happening here on the graph. So what we want to do is you want to try to make this a little bit more natural. And that would be probably easing into this frame. So it ease in a little bit more as the, as the dog's head goes down. Okay. And then as it's coming up, I'd also like to stagger out of this. So I'm going to insert a key by pressing I, setting a keyframe here and here, doesn't really matter too much. And then just stagger out of that pose of that layer. Oh, oh, okay. So you 
goes, looks down, looks down, doesn't like what he's seeing, and then goes up and then up again. Maybe we could hold that second look for a bit longer too. Okay. Right. So that's it. And then what we do is you would then do something like a hit turn. So we'll just select the head. Uh, not just the head, actually, it would be these three controllers as well on the neck. And we'd add another layer. And I'll just call it hit turn. So hit turn. Uh, let's do that. Always name your things properly. <laughs> but with this one, I'm actually going to key this. I'm not just going to pose it. So I'll set a keyframe on it, and I need to set a keyframe at uh, let's say 150, where it comes back to zero. So, the, so the so I'm keying the base layer up onto that layer by keying the values on that layer as they sit on top of the base animation. If that makes any sense. So we'll hold this for a bit for the first cycle. Then we will turn our head. Let me first of all turn off the head down. So let's turn our head to the left. Let's have a little look to the left. And we're going to rotate in Z a little bit there. Okay, so something, uh, maybe something like that. And head down a little like this. I'm just animating an all three axis for now, just to, just to demonstrate what, I, what I'm trying to achieve here. And then I'll overshoot this a little bit, so I'll keep the head doing what it was doing and just sort of overshoot that. And then we're going to go back the other way. So we'll go back to this way. Uh, maybe we can look over there. And we can maybe hold that a little bit so we can, I don't know, just do something and then it will come back to the base keyframe. Okay, so we have some horrible flat tangents up here. I don't really like that. I don't like this flat tangent. I'm going to soften that. And then maybe here as well, soften that. Rotation. So it looks to the left, looks to the right, and then comes back again. And then what you do is you can animate that on as well. So you can animate the head turn layer on, or you can... So what I mean by it is animating the actual weight of the, of the layer on and the have the head down layer also on. So if I play it back, it'll try to combine both of those things. You see, oh, there's a big flip here. That's probably, um, it's probably because I need to do a Euler filter. Uh, let's see, no, nope, that's not gonna fix it. Let me see, it is the head turn layer. So that would be curly X. Yeah, see how it's flipping like that? That's probably just this rig in general. Um, wow, okay, that's crazy. <laughs> So, um, that is how to do it. Uh, it would be nice if the rig didn't flip like that. And I'll try and figure this out quickly. Sorry to take up your time. If I was to key that, can you see this massive Euler, Euler key that's coming in there? It's going to flip anyway. There isn't a way around this. Oh, animating with layers is always tricky. Let's just be, let's be honest. Maya still hasn't managed to uh, to fix that. Still there. Maybe the weight would change it. Wow. Well, there you go. Well, uh, just there. It's popping on there. Wow, check it that hey, you animate the weight of the layer and it actually flips the rig. That's ridiculous. Anyway, um, okay, so let's take the head down off and see. 
we'll try and turn this to override. Turn that on. No, it still won't do anything because it's overriding the layer. That's there. It's looking left and right. Head turn. Okay, head turn, head down, head turn. Let's turn that up. See, it flips again. Anyway, there's nothing I can do about that. Okay, so that is how to animate something on a layer. And yeah, if you want to animate the tail as well, you know, so you're getting into a shape where it goes down, you want to animate the tail going up, stick that on a layer as well. And all I've done with this one is just to pose to select the objects and let's just show you. So I created the pose at frame one. Let me just put time display. Uh, selected. Yeah, so there it is. So there's the tail going up and then it comes back down again at the end of the cycle. Okay, so animating these sort of things uh, is is what uh, really makes your demo reel look really nice. And I think if you create something cool, maybe you can have the um, the hips do something. You can have the whole chest do something. You can have the ears do something. You can also close the mouth. Let's do something like that. Let's let's add a, a mouth close, mouth close. And we just have it keyed there. And let's say when the head goes down, we close up the mouth. So close that mouth. I'll just hold it for a bit as he's sniffing with his nose. Okay. So the dog would then come down, sniff using his nose to sniff. And to do that, the dog would actually keep its uh, mouth closed. So it would close its mouth and then it would sniff and then open it again later probably do maybe something crazy okay it's ridiculous but yeah okay and that's a behavior change that you can add to your walk cycle okay I hope that helps and I hope that's interesting and sorry about the rig and the snapping and flipping all over in Maya and animation layers. Be careful with that you guys when you're doing uh, animation layer stuff, uh, especially with rigs. Um, you know, especially with some rigs they, they tend to not uh, behave quite well so just be careful of things like that, okay? But in general, if you have a great rig this is a really nice trick to uh, to add to your work and to make your demo reels all that much more fantastic. I hope you enjoy this. Please subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.